Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 2.20, November 29th, Friday, 41 degrees, almost 42 according to that one. This one says it's only 35. You figure it out. I don't know. Um, what is it? I don't know. 3, 4, 5 degrees centigrade for my uh, friends over in Canada. All right, so question. How does a redneck clean up a big mess? And the answer is, you set it on fire. Um, so my son, Joe, is home from York, Pennsylvania. He lives out there in York, where he's doing the winery biz. And he came home. We're doing some cleanup here. There you go. There's him. He's wearing the yellow. And we're burning up a bunch of stuff. I mean, you all remember the brush all over the place here. Well, we're getting rid of it. Right, all that loose brush in front, the tractor and all, gone, 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 gone. So, yeah, getting the old cleanup set up. We have that big cedar tree from here that's there. What's left of it, it was over there. So that's cleaned up. See the stump up against the uh, shed. So, yeah, nice cleanup. The wooden pallets that are shot, got rid of them. Um, and this way, if you guys, I don't know if you remember, the uh, the all-terrain vehicle frames and all that were there. Well, we got got those out of there, and there was a bunch of just nasty brush. Well, that's all burned up now. So, yep, cleaning up setting this place up so it looks like human beings live here. Think I should throw that Escort bumper on top? <laughs> That'd be good. Right, a little plastic once in a while, it kind of seasons, seasons the fire, I think. Yeah, I've uh, I wanted to get this place so that it looks like somebody lives here that's a human being. And, you know, you could build up so much stuff, and then really the only way to get rid of it is you have to you have to just kind of kind of burn it up because it um, there's so much airspace and all you can't even um, you really can't even load it on a truck. Oh. Buy to the bumper. That's actually a bumper cover. That'll burn up good. You know what I was thinking whilst we're out here is, um, you know, like on the entrance, to this, like I got that, that stupid tree standing right in the way. Oh, look, right is that Fina? No. That, that's not Fina, that's another cat. Yeah, yeah that's, it looks, or is it Fina? Is that you, Fina? You a guy? You a cat? I don't know. Her don't face like that. that looks different. Well, it looks like her. Yeah, but the face is a little different. She's got yellow closer to the nose. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm thinking of um, take, take, taking the uh, chainsaw and cutting down that one ugly one right there because it's just been in the way. Oh, there's a bumper um, smoke right there. Uh, yeah. By the way, burning bumpers, kind of smoky. Um, if the depa fire department shows up, that means I'm going to get a fine for... I think that is Fina. That means I'm going to get a huge fine, so... What the hell is she eating in there? Probably got a mask or something. I don't know. She's kind of looking on it. Maybe you should check her. Check her. I'm going to go get the chainsaw. Yeah. We'll do some more damage. What do you think? Yeah. Life is not Fina. Definitely not. No, it's not. I wonder what the hell she was eating. Looks like Fina's sibling, though. That's something furry, though. Is it a mouse? Really? She got a rabbit, huh? Yeah. Back. Yeah, that stuff is pretty shot. All right, folks. I'm gonna let you go. You can see what I'm playing with today, trying to get the cleanup going. We'll catch you in a while. If uh, he and I manage to get the shelf loaded up, we'll shoot some video of that also. 
All right, folks, remember, live love, have a great day, tires down, handlebars up. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. Until then, remember, you're not a redneck if you don't burn stuff that bothers you. Take care now.